reporting that FBI Director James Comey caught the Obama Justice Department by surprise by saying recent spikes in crime are because of the Ferguson effect. Now, that's when police are reluctant to make arrests because they are afraid of backlash on social media. I've been told about a senior police leader in this country who urged his force to remember that our political leadership has no tolerance for any of you being involved in the next viral video. And former New York City Police Commissioner Howard Safer goes on the record. Good evening, Commissioner. Good evening, Greta. Commissioner, um, FBI Director James Comey says that, uh, that these, these videos are having an impact uh, on how police do their work. Um, and you know, all the things that we're seeing in the media and the backlash uh, against police. Do you agree that the police seem to have a little bit of a target on their back or even a big target on their backs? I agree. The climate that the media has fostered and a lot of these uh, liberal groups have fostered gives the police the kind of feeling that if they do anything out of the ordinary, there's going to be 27 uh, citizens with video cameras uh, looking for a gotcha moment with them. And it really has caused police not to get out of their cars, to do the minimum necessary, because they feel they're put upon. You know, it's really disappointing. I don't know if you heard Rick Leventhal's report just moments ago, but that there is um, a rally in New York in support of police and that the numbers are disappointing compared to the rallies when they have anti-police. Absolutely. The, the fact is, you know, when you look at groups like Black Lives Matter and you look at the Washington Post uh, survey that was done recently about homicides, you know, if Black Lives Matter are concerned about black lives, they should look at who's committing the African-American murders. And 95 percent of them are other African-Americans, not police officers. Well, there was a, a rally over the weekend in New York against police, and one of the participants was uh, Quentin Tarantino, who is the director, um, who's made extremely violent movies, and he's getting a lot of criticism from the uh, from one police organization because the you know he'll go ahead and make violent movies, and then suddenly he comes out, uh, uh, and not suddenly, but he comes out saying anti-cop things on Saturday. What do you how do you respond to that? Well, I, I don't know who appointed Mr. Tarantino uh, an advocate. Uh, against police. But the fact is what he did was very irresponsible. His movies are very violent. Uh, being anti-police is just not productive. And the people who get hurt are the public uh, when these things are done. Because I've spoken to the head of some of the biggest police unions in the country, and they're telling their officers, don't go out of their way, don't do extraordinary things, just do the minimum necessary, because you're putting your family and your job at risk. And that's a very bad environment for the public you know commissioner i it's like I, I hate that i hate it too that people come out and say the you know the anti-cop stuff you know i've been to the police memorial a number of times 20 20 some thousand names etched in it but for some reason listening to rick leventhal tonight when you know that the people who are who every day the good people who aren't anti-cop they can't even get out of their offices to come down and support the police in new york city i mean i'm a little bit surprised at them as well well i am also because they're the be the first ones to criticize the police when they don't respond. You know, it's, it's a terrible thing. You know, I offer my condolences to my NYPD family and to the Holder family. But the fact is, as long as we have this environment, criminals are not going to be afraid of police. Criminals are going to continue to carry guns. And unfortunately, we're probably going to see more police officers killed in the line of duty. What we need to make sure is that there are good community relations, but criminals still need to be afraid of police and know that there is a certainty of apprehension if you commit a crime. Well, I'd say, I mean, they could have come out of their uh, fancy offices tonight just to for spend five minutes on the street to support, uh, support the police officers and showing up their rally. But I have something for the viewers. I want them to vote on something uh, on Twitter right now. I want them to tell me, viewers, here's what I want you to do is go to Twitter and, and answer this. Is Quentin Tarantino wrong for making violent movies and marching in anti-cop rallies? Tweet yes or no using hashtag Greta, and you'll see uh, the results later in the show. And, Commissioner, um, thank you very much. And um, I know that uh, it's tough out there being a police officer, and you've been a leader of, of many of them. Thank you.